Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my Truth or Treat for the month of July. And I'm very excited. I love Truth or Treat. I love all the horror stuff. So I'm very excited. So we have not a branded box this month. But here it is. Here's the items. I haven't looked through it yet, but I'm very excited. So let's go ahead and get into it. For the first, um, obviously we have a waffle maker in here, but I want to pull out the spoiler card right here first. Um, I don't know the, the theme for this month. It doesn't say. Oh wait, does it? Um, I don't think it says. But yeah, anyway, here's the spoiler card for me to look at later. And um, theme for next month is Into the Woods, which looks really, really good. Anyways, okay. So, we obviously have a waffle maker in here, which is really, really cool. It's a mini waffle maker. I don't have one, so, yeah, but I'm very excited. This seems like a fun item. All right, so here is the mini waffle maker. Um, it just says Death by Waffles, which I think is really, really cute. Um, and it has a little skull, um, but it's just a regular, just, oop. <laughs> it's just a regular old um, mini waffle maker. Um, I kind of wish they got like a pattern one that they could have given us, like a shape one, like in the shape of a skull or like a ghost or something. I think that would have been pretty nice and cool. Um, but I mean, this is still really nice, but I mean, it's just, it's just a little simple. It just says Death of Waffles on there. And I think it does look pretty nice. But yeah, I still like it. And I probably definitely am going to be using it. So I'm happy with that. So let's move on to the next items. Um, so the next thing I see here is this little thing. I think it might be a bath bomb or something. And I don't want to open it because I feel like it's just, well, I guess I could open it right now. But there so it's got to be careful and not make a mess. It's very nicely packaged. A little bowl on there. So I'm going to be very careful not dropping any purple stuff. Um, so this is Rowan. Um, it is a bath bomb. And it's purple inside the thingy. So that's really exciting. So I'm gonna put it back because I don't want to make a mess. But I think it's a really nice, cool item. And it smells really, really good. It smells like uh, blue. It says blueberries. So yeah, it does smell like blueberries, but it smells really, really good. Um, so let's see if it says anything else on here. Um, I really like it. It smells really good. The Witching Hour Bath Bomb. Enjoying, enjoy a relaxing bath with this exclusive bath bomb inspired by Anne Rice. The Witching Hour. And there's also a surprise in it. So maybe it could be like a pin or something that like they did it like a few months ago. Or maybe it was last month or something. Um, so I'm going to use that soon so I can see what's inside. And if I use it by the time I post this video and I will insert whatever it was inside that so yeah that's really, really cool all right so the next thing I see here is some candy um so each month they give us a drink or a food item so that's really cool so these are sour power belts these are strawberry apple blueberry watermelon flavor um and these are from the penny candy store so yeah, no spooky packaging or anything like this, but I do like candy and I do like this type of candy, so that's really, really nice. Um, so these are just strawberries, right? Yeah, I think these are just strawberry. It says strawberries on here, but I guess there's other flavors you could have gotten or something. I don't know. But yeah, these are. Yeah, I can't wait to taste them. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what's next. The next item is. An umbrella, so let me go ahead and pull it out. I'm gonna go ahead and open it inside. I really don't care. It looks really, really pretty though, from right that thingy. Um, I needed an umbrella, so it rains a lot. I should never have one, so 
see if I can show you guys the full design inside here. Okay. So, I don't know if you're able to tell what it is. I might have to. Oh, that's so cool though. There's some skulls, some flowers, some mushrooms. It looks very pretty. Um, but if anything, I'm just gonna insert another clip so you guys can see more. But yeah, that looks really cool and nice. So I'm excited for this and I can't to use it, which probably will be soon because it should be raining sometime this week. Anyways, then we have our little tarot card that we get every single month. These used to be uh, matching with the candle, but they stopped um, the candles for the summer months. But yeah, I really like these. Oh, it has Jigsaw on it. I just saw Jigsaw. How cute. Do you want to play a game? I love Jigsaw. And they just released a trailer for the Jigsaw movie, the new one X. And I'm really excited to go watch that. So, yeah, that's Jigsaw. Uh, let's see what's next. We have a little black box in here. And I have no idea what it is. So let's find out. It is another essential oil, um, which is nice. Um, protection oil, rosemary, and sexual. I hate tiny, I can't really read it, but. Yeah, the packaging is also very, very dark. It looks nice though. Let's see how it smells like. Um, yeah, but I have... Ooh, okay. It smells really good. Don't know what it is exactly. Like the smell of it. And it doesn't say on here, so... Yeah, let's see if it says on here maybe. The exorcist essential oils uh, will help relieve you after bearing witness to an exorcism. Please do not use the skin without proper dilution. And it doesn't say what scent it is, so... That sucks, but that's okay. Okay, so the next item that I'm seeing here, uh, I think mine just came very messed up. <laughs> but it's supposed to be a frame or print. Um, so these little things, you pull them to make them clearer, but it's very dirty mine are. Same with this one right here. Um, it's very dirty. But I just have to clean them. This should be fine. And then we have an art print right here, which looks really nice. I do like it. There's a little bent in the corner, in the corners, but that should be fine. I'm not sure how these work. I think it's just like, I know they magnetize or something. I'm not sure. Yeah. And then it's inside the frame. This is cool, I guess. I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of this item. It's fine. It looks cute, though. Yeah, it looks better in the frame. Especially after I clean it, it'll look, probably look better. And you can't really see the damaged corners afterwards. So I think it should be fine or something. Um, let's see if it's inspired by anything or is it just like a creepy artwork or something. Okay, so yeah, it's just some random spooky artwork. Um, it's not really inspired by anything. It does look really, really cool. So, uh, I'm not mad at it, at it but it's cute. <laughs> Alright, let's see what do we have next. So we have the book here, but there's some other items. So let's see. Okay, so this one is a big item here. Um... The book looks really cool so far, okay, but we have, I think it's a doormat, or like a floor mat, so let's see, let's open it. It's pretty big, so here's like the under part. Okay, so here it is, the doormat. Hopefully I can show you the whole thing in frame. Um, so there that is. It says, welcome curious souls on a twist retreat. Right? It's just a cat with some bucks. I like it. Um, I don't know. I feel like it could have been creepier, you know? I feel like it could have really done something scarier than this. Um, I don't know. 
I don't know how I feel about that one. This isn't my favorite box from Twist or Treat. Um, I do like, I love the umbrella. The bath one is cool. The candy is nice. The waffle maker is pretty cool. Um, like again, I wish it was like a shape of a score or like a gold or something. And I wish the design was like bigger because it's so small on here. Like, and I feel like a lot of their items too are pretty small. Like I wish it took up like a whole, like they did a pattern instead and just did it all over the whole thing. Cause I feel like when they did the coffee maker thingy, um, the, it was just tags. And again, it was also very tiny, just like this. And same with the um, oil essential diffuser thing. Like it just tags and it's small on the product. I feel like they could just do a pattern instead and fill up the whole design or like something. I don't know. I mean, they still are very nice items and useful, which I like, but I just wish it was just creepier by taking up more design up here instead of just having so much blank black space on everything. But yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's just that. Um, not the best box, but I still love it. And a lot of these stuff are useful, so they will still be getting used. Um, so yeah. And the frame, even if I don't, like, I like the artwork on it, so I am going to display it in my room somewhere. So, I mean, it's not, it's pretty good. Anyways, let's go to the book, which is the main thing that I'm mostly excited for. Um, it is a redesign cover. And the this month's book is Holy Ghost Road. I really like it. I don't know, it feels so early 2000s that I really love. And it has some nice red foiling on the cover, which is so nice. I love it. And then we have the spine there. So pretty in the back here. I really like it. So it's completely redesigned cover. Um, yeah, I prefer this over the original cover, which I'll put right here. So you guys can see that. So then we have the spread edges on all three sides there. And it looks nice. I'm not really sure. I, think, I guess it's just the outdoors. Um, it looks fine. It looks cool. Not my favorite edges either, but they still look nice. Um, let's take off the dust jacket. So we have the naked hardback with some nice folding. I feel like they always do such a great job on the folding on the naked hardback. They're always so amazing. It's just a creepy house in the title. I love when they put the title on the naked hardback. It looks amazing. Then we have the spine there and then the back right here, which is also very pretty. I really love it with the two different um, folding on there. And then on the inner papers, okay, I think this is probably my favorite part of the book. These inner papers are so pretty, so creepy. I really love it. Like. That's really, really good. That's really, really good. I like the end papers quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to read this. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to see if it's sign or anything. There's a signature, but I think it's just a digital, digital signature. So yeah. Anyways, that is this month's book for to retreat. I am excited for it. Um, this book looks really good, but creepy. So, yeah, the items, I'm not upset at any of these items. They're just not my favorite. They're still pretty good. Um, so I am really happy and I like how unique these items are compared to like Illumin Crate and Fairloot where they include the same type of items. So I'm glad to treat those different items. Um, and I, I mean, I'm not mad at it. I just, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on the book here and on the items. Um, make sure to like, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!